Okay, C. Lindelof videos, more shortcuts for your TI Inspire CAS calculator. What I want to talk about here is commonly used keys, and what Texas Instruments has done is kind of cool, is they've put some of them right here. So let's take a look. Let's go to the calculator really quick and just take a look at what that might look like. So let's say that you wanted to take the derivative of a function. <clears throat> well, you could do it this way. You could go to the menu, you could choose calculus, <clears throat> you could choose derivative, and then here you have it, and you could go through that whole thing, and you could say ddx of x squared, for example, and hit enter, and just kind of keep track of how many steps I had to go through. However, if you know that you this is something you use often, you can find it right here, right? So can I do here's my here's my uh, DDX, it's, right? So here's my DDX, just exactly the same way as we did before, except I didn't have to go through a, through a series of menus to get to it. X squared, same answer, a lot quicker. So let me show you some other things that are on this little commonly used menu. <clears throat> Every time that you're making a fraction on your calculator, in my opinion, you should use this screen. Just imagine that you're going to do something and you're going to have this as x over 2 instead of using the division key that it's just a lot better another way you can do that of course is control division however with just one step you could do that easier maybe right same thing here so here we have oh so here we have our square root here we have our nth root e power logarithm all these things can be done on the main menu <clears throat> and it is to say on the on the main keyboard here however this, these three are our piecewise function, and this one is a two by two. More importantly, though, if you go to this one right here, this one is fill in how many pieces that you have. <clears throat> the way you could get to that uh, otherwise is go to the algebra menu. So I'm just saying it's a lot quicker to do it this way. All right? Also, if you set it up and you're like, oh man, I, I put that I have three pieces but really you had only two. You don't have to redo that. You just use the first two pieces that you have. So that will also work. What confuses some people though, you can see that this and this look a little bit similar. So just keep in mind obviously that these are matrices and this is a two by two and this is a one by two, right? But if we go all the way out to here, this lets us fill in how many rows and columns we need so we can make a very specific one. So hopefully that's helpful. Go back here again, <clears throat> we can take the definite integral of something using this key so we don't have to go through calculus. The indefinite integral here, limits, etc. Here's absolute value, so you can type in ABS, open parentheses, or you can just type this in. That will work perfectly. Um, what's the last thing I want to show you? Oh, second derivatives you can take here. So I guess what I'm really trying to get to is that I would really investigate this key right here and see what you find and see what parts of it you use most. Some of them you won't use very much at all. This one right here that a lot of people have asked me about, this is answer to a power and they're like, well, why would you do answer to a power? Well, what if you got an answer and it was in some de extended decimal form and you realize, you know what, that answer in the calculator is floated out farther than what I can see. If you used this, it would, you'd be able to square that answer. So just something interesting to do. I hope this is helpful in some way. I feel like sometimes it's kind of like, why would I do this? But the more you know about this calculator, the better you're going to be served. So I'm going to say it one more time. I would investigate that key, see what it does. And if you have questions or comments, let me know. Uh, thanks for watching. And if you haven't already subscribed, please do. Appreciate it.